News Channel 8's Bert Mumolo reports on hope for an equitable and inclusive recovery. Bert? Austin, Atlanta, Denver, Louisville, and Tulsa. All cities about to shed some light on race and COVID. Last December, Vicente Ruiz had a very bad case of COVID. How bad did it get for you? Uh, to the point that I didn't think I was going to make it. You'll notice he's doing much better now. And he's noticed that sometimes his ethnicity had an impact on how he's been treated. I see the difference, you know, even though you don't want to see it, but you see it, you notice that. Capturing um, some of the disparities that are faced by communities of color and immigrant communities um, in terms of COVID-19. That is one of the goals of a new survey from New American Economy, studying the relationship between race, ethnicity, and COVID. And there's a lot of existing disparities um, that I think have been exacerbated by the pandemic. Case in point, uh, our children having to be virtual. Pastor Anthony Scott of First Baptist Church of North Tulsa. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind is that disparities when it comes to people of color existed prior to the pandemic. And the educational disparity due to economics, he says, has only been intensified due to COVID. They're saying that many kids are now a year behind, where kids in our community were probably already two or three years behind their peers before the pandemic. So if these kids are, other kids are a year behind, our kids are two years behind. And Vicente, he's noticed that simply getting a doctor's appointment can be challenging because of his accent. When you try to make a, uh, appointments, I mean, it's a little more difficult uh, when you got a, a Hispanic accent or, or, or yeah, to get your appointments through. Once the survey results are in, one of the main goals will be... What are the strategies that cities um, and communities can have in place to ensure an inclusive recovery? Mayor Bonham has said the survey will be an essential tool to understand what responses are working and where adjustments need to be made. Reporting live, Bert Mumla, News Channel 8. New tonight, the University